Okay, so we're in the studio and we've got Cubase open in front of us and also an instance of Vienna Instruments. Uh, this is the latest version of Vienna Instruments. And we want to be able to load a Vienna Instrument and control it using the, the Rolly Rise, which is in front of us. Um, the thing to remember about the Rolly Rise is that all these Rolly keyboards transmit note on and note off when you press a key, but they also transmit a pressure message when you push on the key and also a, uh, a glide message or a, a CC message as you push up and down on the key. So a simple note on and note off will trigger a piano sound or, or something that has very little expression, but if you want to use an expressive instrument which has a CC controllable dynamic or crossfade, you want to be able to control that with the push on the key. The problem with the Rolly is that it transmits uh, aftertouch when you push, it doesn't transmit a CC message, and aftertouch is not a CC message, and therefore a lot of uh, programs, for instance, Vienna Instruments plugin, will not recognize aftertouch as a crossfade controller. And just to show you that, we haven't got anything loaded, so I'm just going to load up the, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's put the performance legato cornet. And now we've got a, a couple of octaves of cornet here. And at the moment, it's just going to respond to the Rolly. And it plays like a, like a piano would play it in velocity sensitive. But we want to have some dynamics as you push on the key. So we're going to go to one of these controllers down the middle here. And we're going to click on one of those and go, right, we want it to be velocity crossfade. Click. And we can choose from the top here which CC we want it to be. Well, we've got controller naught all the way through to 127. None of those say aftertouch. Pitch wheel, well, that's a bit silly. Speed, no. Velocity, no. Or none. Doesn't help. So let's set it to CC11, which is our standard expression controller. And we know that that's going to work. I haven't got CC11 set up on the Rolly, but let's set CC11 up for the XY pad using the Rolly dashboard. So let's load the Rolly dashboard. And instead of this being CC13, let's change that to CC11. So we scroll all the way up until we see CC11, expression controller. Brilliant. It's worth noting at this point, I'm in single MIDI channel mode and everything is being transmitted on channel one. So close that. Now we're back in Vienna Instruments and I've got CC11, and as I slide this up and down with my finger, you can see that the CC11 is responding, so I can dynamically control my trumpet. Well, that's all very well and good, but I want to use the aftertouch on the keyboard to control the dynamics. Well, you can't. But you can. So you need to use the um, MIDI insert function within Cubase and you need to insert the transformer. By using the transformer you can transform aftertouch messages into CC messages. So anything that is aftertouch, let's say 127, the furthest push of the aftertouch, will be converted to a CC message and transmitted as 127 of that CC. I've already done this as a preset, and I can choose Rolly AT to 11. Briefly, it says that the filter target type is equal to aftertouch in parameter 1. That's the input. And the output, it sets value 2 to value 1. That's just a bit annoying, but that's the way you control aftertouch. I'm then making value 2. I'm dividing it by 1.5, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to put that as leaving it as a single value is 1. And then I'm going to change the type of this controller to a controller. And value 1 I'm going to set to a fixed value of 11. The reason you have to change value 1 to value 2 early on is because CC has two values. It's the CC, the MIDI implementation of CC as a, as a command. The first value is the CC number between 0 and 127. 
and this or higher than that actually goes to 200 or something doesn't it and then the second one is the cc value so the kind of the extent of expression and you have to then move things around but trust me this works so if you just look at the screen make a note of that it does the job absolutely perfectly so now we close that window and we make sure the transformer is turned on using a little blue on off button here now if i play a note and i push on the rolly you should see this going up and down It sounds a little bit stilted because I'm actually playing with my left hand and I'm not very good at playing dynamically with my left hand on the rolly because I haven't had much practice. But that now works. It sounds also a little bit stilted because I'm pushing all the time. Once you get used to playing the rolly, you can work out that uh, a lot easier. So now what we've got is if I go to the advanced window and just turn some reverb on because I quite like using the algorithmic reverb that comes with this and then go back to the basic window again. And now I can play melody lines on the rolly and have the dynamically controlled velocity crossfades working on the pressure I push. And there you have it. That's one quick and easy way of controlling Vienna instruments. If you're feeling a little bit more uh, interested, you can go into the transformer and limit the range of the CC controller to make it a little bit more realistic. But just for a start, that's a really quick and easy way of controlling your Vienna instruments, dynamic crossfading using the Rolly Seaboard.